It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Philadelphia Eagles. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. Take a drive from downtown along Broad Street. You run into Lincoln Financial Field, the home of the Eagles here in South Philadelphia. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Greg, one of the joys of covering the league week in, week out, you watch guys grow and mature, and all of a sudden you turn around and look at the quarterbacks we have in this game. Now we're looking at guys who have arrived at that magic term, franchise quarterback. Yeah, I think you just have to give a lot of credit, of course, to the player themselves, the work, the ability to invest in themselves to develop, but also in these organizations. They continue to surround these quarterbacks as they've gotten older with better talent, better systems, play to their strengths, maybe protect some of their weaknesses. That's what it takes to play at a high level at the quarterback for a long time in the NFL and give credit to both these players and both these organizations. I think it's official. They have their quarterback of the future, and the future looks bright. On the return, it's Tank Bigsby. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Jacksonville comes out with a former number one overall pick. Trevor Lawrence, their quarterback. Six foot six, tall and talented. Greg, hard to believe, already is season four for Lawrence after his days at Clemson. The Clemson product, he entered the league a couple years ago, Mike, as one of the best quarterback prospects we've seen really in the last decade. And it's easy to see why when you put on the tape, right, his physical skills, his arm strength, they jump out at you. But now, if he's ever going to reach that full potential, he has to start placing an emphasis on protecting the ball. Get rid of the bag. There's so much good in his game. Don't let it be overshadowed. That's been the biggest knock of his career. And if he can change that, the sky is the limit. Evan Ingram, the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. yard rusher from a season ago Travis Etienne and the defense there to meet him they'll hold him to two and bring up third down now whistles here looks like one of the defenders got a head start So now, after the penalty, a much more manageable third and three. They go play action for Lawrence. That one on target with Kirk. They've got it. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and ten. Lawrence gives this one to ETN. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's got that to the rookie first-round pick, Brian Thomas. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming at you. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. The 
The tight end, Ingram, is on the move. Here's ETN. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. They put Strange in motion. They'll run for it with ETN. Oh, making defenders look silly out there on his way. To the end zone. Travis Etienne. Touchdown, Jacksonville. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. as well. Greg, here he is already in his fifth year in the NFL. This is someone who just seems like every year they just get better and better, Mike, right? I mean, think back, whether it was Alabama to Oklahoma to being a Heisman finalist, going from a backup role to MVP candidate. His development has been fun to watch, and now he's universally considered one of the best all-round quarterbacks in the league, and if they want to leave here with a win, they're going to need him to be just that. Right to the air, it's Hurts. He'll get this complete, that's E.J. Brown. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. That's a gain of 21 to open this drop. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Coverage very strong defensively. It's second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. The next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Play action. Here's Hurts. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker. But you also can bring him on pressure, Mike. And that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. Third and long. Here's Hurts. This one is caught by Dotson. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. 
When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. The Jaguars offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Here's Lawrence. He's going to run it. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush. They feel the rush. And that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. Here's second and two. Now Lawrence on the bootleg. Open man is Davis. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll get to the 40 on a short game. Look him up on a second down and eight. Once again, it's ETN. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Lawrence and this is going to be incomplete that is great work there making things difficult defensively it'll set up a fourth down and on that third down they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page and now brings up fourth down doing there they made sure he would not get free the Eagles offense ready for their second possession they trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down Shotgun snap now to Hurts. In trouble, and down he goes. That is Josh Hines Allen from his defensive end spot to record the sack. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. After that first down sack, I think we both kind of looked at each other and said, all right, well, there goes this drive. But a really nice job there in the passing game on second down. That big chunk brings them from second and long to now at least third in management. They'll try to run here with Barkley.
Here's Braden Mann now. He'll be looking for something a little better than that first effort, which he shanked. On the return, here's Washington. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. But Jaguars offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They lead it here early 7-0 as they start with a first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. So they made it a priority here early to try to get him the ball in the first quarter. But that was their third attempt. None of them have resulted in a catch. If you got to start looking elsewhere, you don't want to get into a position, Mike, where you feel like you're forcing the guy the ball and forcing your offense to run through him. Lawrence now on second down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And the pistol. Here's Lawrence. To the right side, he's got Ingram, the tight end. They get 18 on the pitching catch. That's good for a Jaguar. First down. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. On the give, it's ETN. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. Lawrence. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think you'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, and now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Lawrence from the gun here on third down. And that is incomplete. Brian Thomas, the intended receiver. And now it's fourth down. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. And that's going to work out well. Out of bounds, and they mark it inside the five-yard line. Here comes the Philly offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They'll start from their own four. Not a lot of room for error back here. It's first and ten. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. Once again, it's Barkley. He'll get about three. And that's going to lead to third down. What can they do here on third down and seven? From the shotgun, it's Hurts. 
That's caught. Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot. But that'll keep this drive rolling. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down. They can just feel him. It allows them to keep their eyes downfield, allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open. In this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. A first down throw for Hurts. This one into the hands of Brown. And he'll be taken down. That's going to do it. That's the last play of the first quarter. So after one, it's the Jaguars on top. And we're back in Philly in a moment. A good spot here, second and a yard. On the handoff, this is Barkley. And he's going to pick up the first down. That's a nice run, taking it up past the 30-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground and the offense is able to pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Hurts. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Now a stoppage for an injured player, and it's Saquon Barkley who appears to be shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Jalen Hurts on second down. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules, and the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Hurts working in the pistol. He's got the 2021 20 Heisman work. That's Devontae Smith. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers, they uncover downfield, leads to a big pickup. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Dotson, the man in motion. On first down, it's Hurts. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells. 
so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and so far they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. Looking to keep a promising drive alive in his third and a yard. Dotson, the man in motion. And they'll throw here with Hurts. That one by Smith. And he's going to have the first down. They convert on third, and it sets up a first and goal. When you decide to throw the ball on third and one, typically, Mike, what you're doing is you start from the top down. If you have the big shot downfield, take it. If not, the quarterback works through his progression, finds the medium target, picks up a first down. They keep finding ways to keep this drive alive, and they're set up now for first and goal. Now Hurts going to call his own number. Some room to run as he takes it down to the two-yard line. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. From the two now, here's second and goal. Now Hurts. The second down throw is incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. From the two-yard line yet again, what can they do on third and goal? They'll try to run this one in. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front, and he's in. And it's game well. Touchdown, Eagle. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four-down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down, taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in. the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Bigsby to return it. And he stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. Here comes the Jacksonville offense now, heading back onto the field. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. ETN to start this drive. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack to keep this to a no game. They'll run it once more with ETN. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Sidney Brown, they're on the tackle. They need eight as they come up for third down. Throwing is Lawrence. And this time is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. 
in the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Here's Logan Cook now. As this drive went backwards, he's on to kick it away. To Gene to return it. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Eagles offense ready to get back at it. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten. To throw is Hurts. Now he takes off. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. When you're game planning during the week for a mobile quarterback like this, on every down, you have to have somebody to account for him. You can see why here. He's able to escape the pocket, turn into a runner, and he can take every play and make it a big play. They'll run here with Gainwell. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. We've seen this trend throughout the league, Mike. Offensively, everyone wants to have depth at the running back position. Yeah, it's great to have one guy. But if you could have two or three that could all come in and contribute on the ground, that's the goal, and we're seeing it here. On the ground, Gainwell. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. A run with Gainwell. And he will not be able to get free, picking up only a yard. Now it's third down. is Hurts. He does man and it's Smith. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. A big one there on third down. Good for 26 yards. We spent so much time talking about arm strength, and while that certainly has a place in the conversation, look at the touch of this ball, Mike. It's a deep corner out. This ball needs to have the right pace the right trajectory to not only get it over the second level defenders but get that ball down into the hands of his target he makes it look a lot easier than it actually is the defense still arguing about that pass interference call but their focus needs to be a stop they face first and goal Trying to create some space, but will not find much. He'll get a yard. They'll mark it at the three. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Here's Gainwell. He slams it in there. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game.
And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today, and we're just getting started. Elliott on now for the PAT. He's got it. And the Eagles will move out to a 14 to 7 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Bigsby to return it. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Jags offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. Heading in motion. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast, snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long so it's something that teams want to implement but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game two minutes remain here in this first half we'll come back to philadelphia right after this second down and eight Lawrence now. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. The best guys I've been around, like they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. So the Eagles will use their first time out here. Here's the punter now. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. This is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Eagles offense, and they're running back, set to go once more. We'll see how they want to attack things here, backed up deep in their own end. It's first and 10. To throw, Hurts. That's to the left side, and taken in by Smith. And he's going to have this one up near the 28. This is such a critical moment in the game, that middle four minutes, the final two minutes of the first half, and then the possession to come out of the halftime break. So maximizing this possession here before halftime is critical. See if you can get a drive starter. See if you can get an easy completion to kickstart a two-minute mode in... That's what they got here. Now they got to see if they can go down and steal some points. Hurts will work here from the pistol. That's taken in left side by Smith. 
huge catch and they finally get him down. But there's a flag. Not sure if this one's going to stand. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's complete to Smith. Well, we get the penalty yardage back here. Pickup of 10, and it will be second and 10. Shotgun snap now to Hurts. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. This time they stay on the ground. The Jags will use the first of their timeouts here as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in half number one. On comes with the punter now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. Get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. And the offense will elect to burn a timeout. Five seconds remaining in this second quarter. Second down, Lawrence. He's going to air this out for Davis. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room. So that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. <laughs> Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. This taken in at the eight yard line. Oh. A very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Eagles offense gonna have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. Hurts now. This one is caught by Dotson. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. the 
from the shotgun. It's Hurts. That'll be complete to game one. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. A pistol snap back to Hurts. Checking it down, this one is caught. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. On third down, here's Hurts. He'll try to run for it. He can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now, Hurts. That's over the middle and caught by Smith. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then, really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. And he's into the end zone yet again. And it's Gainwell. Touchdown, Eagles. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And make it a hat trick. That is his third rushing touchdown of the game. A big reason his team is on top. And so far, Mike, this run game has been the difference, and we're going to see in the second half. Now, can they protect this lead? Because, Mike, that's where a run game has its most value. And so far, this guy's been incredible. Here's Elliott for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Eagles will take a 21-7 lead. the score here comes Elliott to kick this one away Bigsby to return it and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line the Jaguars offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half they trail by two touchdowns so the time is now gotta get that rally going it starts with first and ten begins with a carry from ETN and a nice run get him about nine it'll bring up second down they go 
Now play action for Lawrence. That's complete to ETN. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's on the big man, Cam Robinson. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. Now, this looks like a design run. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pick up there. Here comes third and six. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. Got his man, it's complete to Thomas. It's a pickup of 12. First down, Jacksonville. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. First down throw for Lawrence. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. in a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit that they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we go through the highlights, no shortage of touchdowns today. Three trips to the end zone in this one. The combination, the power, the speed, everything on display. And the defense has seen it all. They'll come up here first and ten. 
man in motion is Brown. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. That's Darnell Savage up from the secondary to make the stop. quickly and here comes third down now it's hurts taking off and trying to get there these are the plays that are just crushing for a defense. Here you are, you think you're about to make a big stop, force fourth down, and get the football back. But instead, you let the quarterback get loose, he picks up the first down with his legs, and now you got to defend a fresh set of downs. On first down, it's Hurts. That'll be caught along the sideline. Good work there. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Man in motion is Smith. The quarterback was on the move, starting to gain some yards, but then he lost the ball. And the fumble's recovered by the defense. And early on, Mike, it was actually a really good job by the quarterback, extending that play, getting some positive yards with his legs, but he decided not to slide and give himself up. He takes that hit, loses the ball, and now the defense takes over. Travis Etienne of the Jaguar offense ready to get back to work. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. This one is caught by Kirk, and he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. On first down, Locks. A quick slant into the hands of Thomas. spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Got his man. It's Kirk. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page and when executed at that level it's virtually impossible to stop. First and ten. Now here's Lawrence. That caught by Davis. 13 yards on the catch there. That's good for a Jaguar. First down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. On first and ten, Lawrence. Open man is Davis. No 
He'll come up here on second down and five. Lawrence. He pulls it in around the five. And this drive's going to continue. He's taken down, but they are set up with first and goal. Touchdown Jaguars. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. So Lawrence lines up the Jaguars as they will go for two. Once again, it's ETN. And he's going to go backwards on that one. They take him down back at the six-yard line. That decision to go for two was made up from the very beginning. The moment they scored, you could see the head coach. He's signaling, we're going for two. The touchdown was obviously a disappointing outcome defensively, but to able to get that stop, they can at least come off the field and catch their breath. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Gainwell to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Hurts working in the pistol. Now a deep ball looking for Brown. And he's going to take this one all the way. 74 yards. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drive. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run, got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Elliott now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Eagles will extend this third quarter lead. the score here comes Elliott to kick this one away Bigsby to return it and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop one to ETN. And he's going to be brought down here on uh, what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. 
You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and a yard. Davis going in motion. Second down, Lawrence. Throw left side, taken in by Kirk. They gained 18 yards on that one. First down, Jacksonville. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. set to take over once more and he has been masterful so far leading this offense keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long they'll break the huddle coming up now for first and ten from the shotgun it's hurts left side it's caught by brown Here's a second and three forthcoming. Man in motion is Smith. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you can tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no gain. one of the defenders to jump. They go three tight ends here on first and ten. Straight ahead with Barkley. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That's a short one. Got it. 
and he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up the first down. On first down, it's Hurts. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Second down and three. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. Ah, the pressure, too much, and he goes down. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. This a must stop for this defense. Facing third and long. To throw, Hurts. Open receiver is Dotson. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. You think you're going to pick up the first down? You get tackled just shy of the sticks, and now a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. Oh, a miss hit there off the side of his foot. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They'll begin with first and ten. Strange in motion. Play action now. It's Lawrence. He's going to run it. And he slides and covers up at the end. Avoids the hit. And picked up decent yardage along the way. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage. But at least he avoids taking that shot. In motion comes Thomas. Working out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That one on target with Kirk. They've got it. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. You just can't ask for better protection than that, especially on third down. Clean pocket, tons of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. And at this level, if you give quarterbacks that amount of time, chances are they're going to find somebody downfield. A first down throw for Lawrence. He'll go right back to Kirk again. It's complete. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. No, keep it on the ground. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. 
In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. Lawrence now to throw on first down. That's complete to ETN. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. From the shotgun, it's Lawrence. This one's going to be taken in over the middle. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. To throw is Lawrence. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Gabe Davis, the intended receiver. Third down coming up. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late. It's probably a touchdown. He'll come up to third and three. Back to throw. Lawrence. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase from what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. It's exactly what they did here, and there was nowhere for the ball to go, and he's forced to just throw it away. That is hot in the middle of the end zone. Christian Kirk, touchdown Jacksonville. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance, but can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Here's Cam Little for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Jaguars have cut the deficit to five. now back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Here's Gainwell to return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and Jalen Hurts getting set for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read, seemingly every time. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. Has an opening. Has the first. The ball comes out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds. So no turnover. And it's actually going to wind up a first down. Well, a big play there, and maybe a big break, too. The ball going out of bounds, so they keep possession and keep a little bit of this momentum going, Greg. We see this across the league so much now, Mike. Defenders are getting so good at ripping that ball out. Unfortunately for them, in this case, they got in trouble, and he's going to be taken down. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack, and we we'll see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. Work to do now as they come up on second and long.
They'll run it here with Saquon. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, third and long. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And you'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. Here comes the Eagles punt team. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. The Jaguars offense and Christian Kirk getting set for their next possession. The deficit is five, so they'll try to put a drive together here. They'll begin it with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. And he might have made it just a bit too long there as he throws it incomplete. Looking to set up the screen, but the defense wouldn't give him the time. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. And it's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. Open man downfield, that's Ingram. And he's going to be taken down inside the 40-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else, and I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. It is second down and five. Now Lawrence. That's caught over the middle by Thomas. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. Final minute, one timeout remaining, and it's first and ten. Here's Lawrence. That is hauled in at the five. And this is a touchdown. They were not going to be denied, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs and that's a big time connection for the touchdown. So now an extra point really doesn't help that much. We'll try to go for two and make the difference three. touchdown take the lead but it remains a one point game
So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Here's Gainwell to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Saquon Barkley and this Eagle offense set to take over again. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Here's first down. Throwing is Hurts. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was looking for A.J. Brown that time. And it'll bring up second down. To throw is Hurts. That's taken in left side by Smith. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Now. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second. And we'll stop it with a little over 30 left in the game. Here is first and ten. to throw is Hurts. To the outside, he's got Smith. That's a gain of 16. His offense is humming. A first down. And these are the moments in the game, Mike, where you need your best players to come through and make their presence felt. That's exactly what he does there. Picks up a nice reception, good chunk of yards, and they keep their hopes alive. This offense still has the one timeout to use. First and 10 coming up now. Hurts to throw. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments in the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. That'll be taken in by Barkley. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play past defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Now... A big third down. Now, Barkley. Now, timeout called. Let's see, you're looking at a long field goal try from here. Well, this might be one final heave to the end zone. So now, Jake Elliott, an important kick coming up. This to win the game. Now the Jags will use their third and final timeout. Yeah. 
So now, Jake Elliott, an important kick coming up. This one, he's got to have. And he has missed this one. No good. And the missed kick is going to cost them the game. And you just can't help but feel for a guy in this situation, Mike. I mean, he's got a chance to be the hero. His guys get him down there, put him in position to win the game here late. But he couldn't convert. It's a lonely feeling walking off that field. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone.